and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube as well for some budget mono blue. So we played this mono blue deck a few days ago and it was really impressive. It was uh, enjoyable to play from my end, maybe not as enjoyable to play against because we're gonna be countering a lot of spells. But this is also just a really good uh, deck that could be turned into a budget deck pretty easily. You know, when I'm talking about budget deck here, I'm, I'm really talking about for Magic Online, um, for using, you know, WoW cards and everything like that. Uh, today's Monday. We're going to be playing some best of one today. We're going to be playing four different best of one decks. I, I have like a whole 75 here in the deck list and everything, but we're just going to be playing best of one. So we're not going to be using any of the sideboard here. But I still have like the sideboard here in case you want to play the deck in best of three. Um, as you know, with this being a budget deck, we we uh, basically to craft this deck, you just need four mythic wild cards. So you, you know, four mythic wild cards to get brazen borrowers, but there's no rares in the entire deck. Um, after you know, like we we played a version with rares in it uh, before, but now here for best of one, uh, because I know people like budget decks more, we're cutting it down. And so that's it. Just the four mythic wild cards. No other, no rares at all. Because I know, I know rare wild cards can really be a strain with all the, like the rare dual lands and everything like that. So maybe if you have extra mythic wild cards, but you don't have rare wild cards, this could be a deck uh, for you to try out. But yeah, our deck's all about uh, tempo. Uh, we're trying to play an early threat with Terramander is like our only thing that we're tapping out for early. But besides that, we got our flash threat, spectral sailor. Brineborn Cutthroat and Brazen Borrower. And then we're just trying to counter everything. You know, like we're trying to to win with these things in the air, and then we're just trying to counter stuff. We got Lazatep plating to counter their removal. It's also just an instant speed 1-1 if we need like a 1-1 to be a blocker or anything like that. But then you know, we got our negates, a disdainful stroke, some essence captures, sinister sabotage, mystical disputes, you know, lots of counter magic. We have a couple winged words in here also to help refill our hand if need be. Spectral Sailor is going to be doing a good job of that as well. And that's it. That's that's our deck. So let's go ahead and uh, play this here over in Ranked. We're going to be playing seven games with our different best of one decks today. So we're going to be going to Standard, Ranked, and Budget Mono Blue. If you're watching this later on YouTube, if you want to check out um, this deck, like the the non-budget version and us playing it in best of three with the non-budget version, um, you know, if you just go to my videos, it's just from a few days ago. Look for Mono Blue Tempo from a few days ago. <clears throat> and you'll find it over there. Thanks. And yep, there's the link to the YouTube right there, youtube.com slash ToddStevensMTG. All right, let's see how we do. So we're starting today at 96%. Hello. All right, so this is looking like Field of the Dead since it's Simic Guild game. Field of the Dead was banned today, but it doesn't take into effect on Magic Arena until the 24th. So unfortunately against Field of the Dead, Lazatap Plating <clears throat> is not a good card for this matchup. Because my opponent's not trying to target our stuff too much. Yeah, it can't. Yeah, it just doesn't <clears throat> take place immediately. They kind of wait till like their next update. Just looking for more counter spells. So they got three cards in hand. We got two counter spells. Uh, 
Ugh, they had a field of the dead. That's unfortunate. Um, certainly considering just playing the double plating here. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So they want to just draw lands. I want them to draw spells. The spells I can counter, lands I cannot counter. That's good. That's good. That can bounce like a token. And be more pressure. If I essence capture something, I can put a counter on this 2-2 to turn it into a 3-3 so it doesn't, doesn't just trade with their 2-2. Hey, Brain. Good afternoon. Their best draw is Hydroid Crisis. Spell. All right, I hope they draw Golos. There we go. All right. Yeah, nice win to start the day off with. Nice win, nice win. This one could be a little tougher. Hey, Pitch. Good evening. Thoughts on the, the new format? It basically seems exactly what what historic should be. It, it kind of makes no sense making that format when you, and having like historic, like, um, like pioneer, like pioneer and, and historic should just be the same thing. And it should be, you know, it should be what pioneer is like historic, historic should be pioneer. Basically. So I, w I would love for them to, like, you know, add Pioneer to Arena and have all those other, um, and have all those extra, sets on Arena for, for Pioneer on Arena. That would be amazing. Hey, 
Hey, Giovanni. Yeah, Brawl will be on, on Arena on on Wednesday, on the 24th. Maybe Thursday. So Brawl's coming really soon. I think the 24th is what the thing said. Um, Historic is already on Arena. You can play Historic, but it's it's kind of difficult to get to it kind of thing. But it's technically already on. Historic's technically already on here, but they don't have like events for it yet. Feels kind of a waste countering that thing. But yeah, it definitely seems like they've just been they've just completely ignored historic. <clears throat> yeah, I could have definitely played Brazen Borrower instead of using a counter spell there. You know, that, that was like, you know, the option of Sabotage or Borrower. The 1-3 the makes it kind of difficult to attack through, though. It's more annoying to attack through. At the very least. Do I trade Cutthroat for that thing? Probably not. <laughs> we are flooding pretty bad here. Uh, no, I don't. I don't think the standard dredge deck is is super reliable. No. Raisin bar was good. Fiery Aspen with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much there, Fiery Aspen. I appreciate that. It's our first sub of the day. That was a nice Lazotep plating. We'll be bouncing this grateful apparition on their end step. We don't want to really do it beforehand. Then they'll just re replay it.
I should have played my island. Okay. I don't know. There, it seemed like they had like some kind of instant here. I was like, ah, oh, I should play my island so I could draw and have another mana. I guess it didn't really matter too much, though. This mono blue deck is good. He's so far so good. Two and oh. Here we go. It's fine. We don't have counter magic. I guess I'm going turn one Terramander. <laughs> I'm going to face nothing but shifting Ceratops now. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'd make just a couple of changes. Not very many. I played... Oh, I, I just didn't even play my Terraman. I'm so used to play a land fast turn. I played non-budget version. Um, a few days ago. And so, you know, you can check that out on the YouTube channel also. Basically, it was just, you know, play a, a couple of castles over some of the islands. And then we had, like, Tail's End as, like, a rare. So, like, basically not really changing stuff not not too many things that are that important Oh, this is Simic Flash, huh? I guess I should have figured that out. So yeah, I, I regret playing the Brazen Borrower now. That was that was a bad play, playing the Brazen Borrower like I did. Should have just played Opt. Yeah, Brazen Borrower is a lot better card to craft than Tail's End, just in general, also.
All right, so I can adapt the Terramander. It said no blocks. Yeah, let's just do that. So both the Terramander and the Borrower are lethal. All right, well, I made a mistake, but our deck's still great. You rank up faster when you're in the percentages in Mythic and in best of one here, because, like, if you're at, like, 97% and you play, like, a full best two out of three match and you win, you go to 98%. You know, like, you gain, like, 1%. If you're just doing a best of one, that's a whole lot faster. Because it looks like we're going up 1% each win also. It's a lot faster. <laughs> Thanks, Dilly. Yeah, this is what I do every day. from Usually from 3 to 10 Eastern Time. Yeah, I get to go first. But don't have a real good threat. Bottom. Usually a Pell Collector deck is playing a whole lot of creatures, which is not good with my couple of Negates in my hand. Negate. The Surferon is pretty rough. Maybe I should have bounced the Surferon, honestly. It basically attacks for four. It's a four two. You know, like if they have another creature out, it's a four two. It's pretty rough. Ugh, that's hard to race. I like playing Arena a lot more than Magic Online. So we're not winning this race right now. But I need all I need is like a little bit to help slow my opponent down. You like one removal spell, something like that. Yes, yeah, so we gotta draw like another creature. They get here and block, preferably a two power creature. Uh, that's annoying. So now I don't have another counter spell for another creature up. That's that's annoying. All right. Well. Sometimes you play against the mono green creature deck and you draw your negates. <laughs> That happens sometimes. Yeah, for the for best of one, it's kind of just easy to, to play ranked matches instead of the league. It's pretty easy to do that. Hey, Wakatoa. Okay, good looking hand. Hopefully, they are a blue deck as far as my mystical dispute is concerned, so it's not just a three mana dispute. 
yeah, everything's going good. I've had... I had something come up that I, I thought was going to keep me from being able to stream today, but... No, just, start, just started late. But everything's all good. Alright, does not look like a blue deck. Oh my gosh. What a killer. GG's. Yeah, I, I played the non-budget version of a couple of days ago. It's really not very much different. It's just having like Tails End and the Blue Castle. Yeah, Moxie, everything's good. Everything's good. The only thing that's not so good is I didn't have time to eat today, so I, I haven't really ate anything. I haven't ate anything yet today. It's like 4.30 in the afternoon. So that's why we're gonna have kind of a short stream. And, you know, with our four best of one decks. Hey, Jokers, what's up? Anyway, Wakatoa, thank you so much for that uh, tier one sub. I really appreciate that, Wakatoa. I appreciate that support. I think it does have lifelink, so it's hard to race because it has lifelink. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, I don't I don't really have anything like easy to to make and, and stuff like here at the house that I really want to grab otherwise yeah I wouldn't mind eating during the stream either I didn't three mana mystical because I, I wanted to uh, surveil honestly I wanted to surveil and look for a threat No, I do donation decks from anybody. You don't have to be a subscriber for a donation deck. That's a great card. That will draw more cards. Uh, no, I don't have any real suggestion for like the for the best control deck in standard right now. You know, we'll have to kind of see. I, I'm kind of leaning towards something with Esper colors. You know, obviously, like, you're going to have to have, like, Oko in your sights for right now. I'm kind of leaning with something towards Esper, Esper colors. A card like um, Planar Cleansing got a lot better with not having to worry about a land like Field of the Dead that just continually... Um,
that just continually makes threats. Now, obviously, planar cleansing can be rough against against Nissa, though. With the Nissa lands not dying. No, the the bans aren't effective on Arena until the twenty fourth. Whenever they do like their update. This is bad. Protect that which cannot protect itself. Uh, Esper Dance is not good. Harness the elements. Esper Dance is like my chances of beating this Nissa. Not good. Looks like my opponent's got this. We're not supposed to be the one drawing eight lands, <laughs> you know, like more lands than our opponent when we only have six, or sorry, when we only have 21 lands. The land fights for us. <sighs> it's, yeah, $20 for a donation deck. And then you, whenever if you donate for a donation deck, you can pick what what day and what time slot you want me to play your deck. Just let me know. Yeah, there's a statistical difference from between twenty one and twenty. We. We really want three land drops. Because, you know, like, we have, like, the counter spells that cost three. We really want a third land drop. The 20 is a little, a little rough towards that. Yep. Did not draw enough counter spells and did not have a fast enough clock. That was, like, the main thing. We didn't, we didn't have the clock there that match. You know, we didn't have, like, a cutthroat to finish the game out. I want to trade these with the Healer's Hawk having lifelink, and then if, if they're a mono-white deck with cards like Venerate, Luxodon, or, you know, things like that, that help, uh, you know, like the pump, all these things, I, I want to get that Healer's Hawk off the battlefield. Hmm. A 1-2 Flying Lifelinker. Fine. We can outrace that. Really good land drop there. Um, I'm yeah. So Grixis control. I'm just not sure. I'm not 
sold that that it has like good enough ways to like win the game or or you know like if it's if it's good enough against like the Yoko decks and things like that like I'm, I'm not sold on on Grixis control right now but and you know of course the mana base is rough as well Yeah, Will, I could, I'll, I can, I'll just, I would be willing to do that for, like, the regular $20 donation, Will. For a donation deck there. That's fine. Hey, Furious Fred. Yeah, best of one meta is a little different from best of three. As far as like trying to find like the best Esper control deck, you know, kind of have to start on that like the twenty fourth whenever the bannings take place. That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. That was a great card for them. Ugh. Definitely wish I didn't negate that Rally of Wings now. There's the deck there. I'd have to, yeah, I'd have to really kind of go back and look at them there, Will, of, like, what, which one of, like, the control decks we've played recently I think would be the best moving forward. It's just, like, the one card that I could not handle, Unbreakable Formation. Blech. That was a card I could not handle there. Hey, what's up, Zach? Yeah, Pioneer is exactly what Historic should be. Like, there should not be Historic and Pioneer. Like, those should be the exact same format. And they, sh you know, it should just be Pi Pioneer. Like, there shouldn't be a Historic. They should bring Pioneer to Arena. So, basically, Historic should not exist with Pioneer. Perfect, Medic. Glad you like that. Hey, Bat King. Good games. I don't like my chances of winning this game. I don't like my chances at all. Yeah, yeah, I should wait till after the bans go into effect. Um, you know, like, well, you know, because things are going to change then without having Golos. Because, you know, like, I mean, you can, you can certainly play it now. But you just know, that, you know, like, you're going to be playing against Golos and stuff. And, like, it's going to change how it looks.
Play Torbran. Let me actually do something with this disdainful stroke. Yay. And play like another like cavalcade after that or anything. Play a Torbrand. Yeah. That worked out. Oh, whoops. I thought they went 10 step. Whoops. Whoops. Yay. Whew. Almost jumped the gun there. Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I'm hoping is that they... Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm hoping is they kind of use historic to work their way back to adding sets for Pioneer. That that would be, that would be ideal. But how they talked about recently about you know like adding in like random cards to the historic format. That whole thinking doesn't really make sense. So that's five, so it'll be three to animate. And three. I'm gonna play a couple more games with this deck. Let's play a couple more games here. We're gonna play. We're gonna play three more. We're gonna play ten total with this deck. I like playing this deck. And it's just, it's just so fast. You know, like this. This has been just a such a fast league. Okay. All right. Yeah. Sounds good. Will. I'll. I'll be thinking about it and everything. Okay. So it looks like we got Field of the Gates. No more lands over here. It was bad drawing two lands right away. Yeah, wild card friendly. It's probably cheap in paper. Basically, there's there's four brazen borrowers that are mythics. So as far as um. As far as wild cards, it's four four mythic wild cards, but there's no rares at all. 
Um, so, you know, very wild card friendly there. Just all, the rest is all commons and uncommons. This is kind of incredible, just drawing three lands in a row. We don't have very many lands in our deck. There we go. Like there's there's 21 total, so we, that's already a third of the lands <laughs> in a sixth of the deck. Yeah, we can't we can't afford tap lands in this deck. Like we're trying to you're trying to play it. like if you want to make it less budget, playing the blue castle would be nice because you know like the blue castle can scry and everything, and that's a good card to have. Hydroid Krasis. That card's always a problem. Thanks, Costco. Uh, we'll we'll see. I, I don't really expect like a Nissa or a Ugh. don't really expect a Nissa or a Inoko band. You know, obviously for now, but you know, like we'll we'll see what happens next month. But basically, they're saying they're keeping an eye on it, and maybe something happens to like the Simic shell next month. Gross. Obviously, the the ideal scenario is is finding a counter spell for the Golos. There, I wanted to. I put it. You know, basically, would Brazen Borrower just been enough? You know, maybe not. And so I I tried putting it down to the bottom because yeah, Golos is the type of card that we really need to be able to counter. So this is probably over now that we did not have a counter spell for Golos. Just drew so many lands. My opener had two counter spells. And then we drew drew none. So they get to just activate Golos now and 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 active like Golos activating against Mono Blue. This is this is just like you know basically going to be a loss. Can't stop three cards a turn. All right, we're back to where we started. Best of good old best of one. Ugh. Either win or you lose. You got a 50 50 shot. <laughs> Who knows what could happen? Anything can happen. Do you win? Do you lose? We were one and one against Field of the Dead. No, Lazotep plating doesn't stop time wipe. Lazotep plating just stops your creatures from being targeted.
Hey, it's our first time to see winged words. Hadn't actually drawn that card yet. So, I mean, I can play my three cards. Hmm. This is really tough. Because basically, if they have any spell here, this is really bad for me. I gotta just hope they don't have a spell. So I can't keep Negate up. All right, last one. Let's hopefully get back to 500. Good hand opponent. Yeah, I think that we had to just go for the, the block. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, Matthew. I've never done it myself. Somebody in chat probably knows. Okay. So here we go. Our last match. Let's get to 500. Alright, I am going to be doing a bounty after this. We're, um, for those of y'all familiar with bounties, a new one came up yesterday. So a bounty is where we're going to watch a commercial here on Twitch and I get revenue based on how many people we have in here. So I would just I would appreciate it if you just stick around for an extra couple minutes after the league. We're going to watch the trailer for the Terminator. New Terminator movie, Terminator Dark Fate coming out next month. So hopefully I'll stick around for that. We'll do that after we do the wrap up. <laughs> He's back. Yeah, mono black opponent. Unfortunately, miss land drop. Looks like they had gutter bones and nothing else. Oh, they're they were playing black red. Okay, they got the mountain. What can they do? I guess they want to put in the 4-4 flyer. Oh, 
Okay. All right, so five and five. Back to 500. So what we learned here is that best of one meta is definitely more aggressive than the best of three meta game. And we noticed that with like all of the aggro decks that we played against. You know, it was, it was basically all aggro um, from like what we were playing against here. And, um, and that's just, you know, so that, that can be kind of tough for like a deck where you're trying to counter all of their spells. Because if they're, if they're also being aggressive, having a lot of one and two mana spells, it's, it's tough to, to counter all of those and everything. Um, but our deck still performed pretty well, you know, like 500. Um, nothing wrong with that over in Mythic, especially, you know, being a, a good budget deck. As we talked about, there's just the four Mythic Brazen Borrowers, everything else here commons or uncommon so definitely competitive um and i think i think still competitive in best of three also uh, if you want to see the deck played out in best of three i i played the non-budget version but that only had five rares it had two tails end um in the main and then three uh, three of the blue c castle that's a rare so it didn't it didn't it wasn't much different at all but you know check that out also over there on youtube um you know, just go to go over to my video pages and look for the mono blue tempo from a few days ago to see that. All right, but that's our first best of one deck for today. We're going to be playing uh, three others. We got Soul Tie Adventures, Chandra Tribal, and Yara's Citadel up after this. Um, that's all I have here for but for the budget mono blue deck. Worked pretty well, I would say, and and it's it, it's pretty fun to play too. You know, like it's just you know like play your threats, counter stuff. Um, you know, you have like your one game plan against everything. So, you know, it's a good deck. All right. If you're watching the video later on YouTube, uh, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there and also leave comments over there as well. I always like seeing the comments over on YouTube. Uh, but again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.